So it's been the perfect lazy day thus far. I did end up going to sleep kind of late yesterday after all. But I woke up in the afternoon today and I feel rested and glorious. I don't have much on the agenda other than just editing. And part of me wants to promise you guys that I won't mention editing in Vlogmas again. But it's true, a lot of my life for Vlogmas... <coughs> oh my, truth is bad. A lot of my life for Vlogmas is just going to be uh, revolved around editing videos which is one of my least favorite jobs no I mean don't get me wrong I love putting together a nice travel vlog and finding the right music and putting in all of the clips and cutting at the right places but overall editing can be boring like I am right now right now I'm really boring so you guys get the idea mm, this chai is a little bit extra sweet today but it's tasty since today is going to be another one of those super boring days i thought i will just talk to you guys today make a talky video not a vloggy video so one topic that i have been meaning to revisit or rather like visit revisit in a way because i brought it up on like instagram stories before but i've never actually talked to you guys about it is menstrual cups and i think it's like really necessary conversation so today i thought we will cover my experience with menstrual cups because way earlier in the year i think like around april may maybe i first brought up the topic on my instagram that i really want to try out menstrual cups because there is such a big reason for women who are on their period menstruating uh, to switch to cups firstly it's much better for the environment secondly it's kind of better for your body as well just because now this is a personal choice thing but a lot of pads and tampons like um, the stuff that they put on them is supposedly not very good like they bleach the cotton and there are other ingredients that can be harmful to you and of course those type of products pads and tampons are disposables meaning you need to like throw them out and each period you're generating a lot of extra waste now being in the city we don't even notice that because we have good garbage disposal systems but i've noticed that if you are living in a smaller area if you're living in like goa if you're living in a place in india that um, might be hilly like when i had gone to kunur and all and if you live in north india where there are hills then the garbage disposal systems are not good so like you really see the impact of it like I also make a similar impact in the city but because we have the luxuries of it getting uh, cleaned up every day we don't notice when it's up to you to dispose of your own garbage then you sort of notice how much of waste you're generating. So there are a lot of reasons to switch to cups but of course it might be intimidating for a lot of women. It was for me also and at one point I was in that shy phase like how will I talk to you guys about it but trust me in the months since then I've become a lot bolder and like I don't even get, give a shit. I will talk like really graphically to you guys and I don't even care <laughs> like really really graphically. But don't worry I'll give you a warning if something gross is coming up. So these are the two menstrual cups that I own right now. I put them in a Ziploc bag because they usually give you this little velvet pouch. Uh, but I didn't want to put the cup in a velvet pouch because you know velvet uh, has a lot of extra fiber on it. And I wanted to put it in a like a Ziploc bag but this was the smallest bag that my mother had that would fit the cups. <laughs> So this is what we are going with. These two cups are from two different brands on Amazon. Both of them are very affordable. I think I paid around 400 rupees for this one and I paid 200 rupees for this one because I did not want to spend too much on any cup and I really wanted to test out how these affordable variants are going to be and I love that cups are affordable now because when I first came across them four to five years ago there was only like the diva cup and that costed I don't know like 20 30 dollars so not every woman uh, especially in India can afford to spend uh, like couple of thousand rupees on a menstrual cup but I think 200 or 400 rupees is more affordable not saying it's cheap but definitely like you can spend it I guess I think the biggest deterrent for any Indian woman to use these cups is that uh, we are not actually taught the methods of period disposal like tampons we are not taught the methods where we actually stick something up our vagina most of us use pads which is something that you put outside 
and so it can be scary to actually use one of these and i was also scared and in early on the year i ended up using this one this is a small size one this is a medium size one so you can see a little bit of a size difference i ended up using this one and i managed to use it but i was not really comfortable with the whole experience you know you're already in pain you're already bleeding you're already uncomfortable and actually folding one of these and sticking it up your vagina is not something i was looking forward to and when i did it i did it and then i was like oh this was not fun this is maybe menstrual cups are not for me and then i ignored my cup for actually a good few months and in the meantime i kept on getting comments uh, dms from you guys asking me to make a video on cups and uh, i i actually couldn't do it because i had only used my cup once and i was not so happy with it so i was like what am i going to talk to you guys but finally in the month of november when i was on my period i told myself that okay this is where i actually give this give this cup a proper try actually use it force myself to use it and then i'll be able to come back to you guys with a verdict like is it good or is it not good i even cut my nails that's how committed i was i had nice long nails and i cut them so that i could use this cup properly and i'm happy to tell you guys that in the course of one period uh, maybe using this cup like five to six times i don't know when you're on the heavier days you actually have to change it more often you have to like empty the cup more often so maybe three times a day when you're on the lighter days you can go to two times a day so in the course of one period my mind completely changed about the cups and once you put it in and take it out a few times it kind of becomes second nature it's really not difficult you can actually do it in two minutes um it doesn't hurt much there is i find that there is like a little bit the tiniest bit of pain only when i'm removing it but i'm it's fine it's like 2 seconds of discomfort nothing more than that it's extremely bearable and it's uh, just the best now that i've had such a good experience i wanted to share that with you guys and if you are one of those women who are like okay menstrual cups are cool but it's not for me because i'm not comfortable with putting something up there will it even fit all of that stuff um i'm here to tell you that uh, they are they're the best yeah you can actually put them in even if you're a teenager you just need to start with a small size that would be my advice to you guys so which is why i have the small cup because i bought that one first and once i got comfortable with using the small cup i bought the medium cup because i do have a heavy flow so i require like a bigger size cup is going to be better for me but i was not able to use the medium one because it came late in my period so i'm going to try it in december <laughs> and i am actually going to make a proper video about menstrual cups on my main channel this is not it this is just me chatting like as if i'm chatting you know with a friend and sharing my experience but i'll make a proper proper informational video on the cups really soon and the reason that i'm making this video is just to give you guys a very honest very long elaborate update on my experience and that video which i'll make on my channel in january i really want to make it as useful as possible for you uh, women and i really want to answer each and every question that might be in your mind about this cup i am not a gynecologist but i think i um, i think i have a good amount of general knowledge and now i have the experience of using it for myself so i really want to make that video as useful as possible so what i'm asking you guys to do right now please is that if you also have been thinking of switching but you have some questions you have some doubts in your mind that are stopping you from doing it please leave a comment on this video and let me know whatever your questions may be doesn't even matter however like a uh, personal they are and if if you think that they are embarrassing it's fine uh we are trained to be embarrassed about these things but there's literally nothing to be embarrassed about so just tell me whatever it is and i understand if you guys don't want to leave a public comment on this video then please come to my instagram i'm at magali underscore c and uh send me a direct message send me a private message only i'll see that and i will not like 
reveal your identity anywhere or whatever and just just ask me whatever you want to ask me about the cups i'll do my best to give you guys a proper candid honest response and then i your questions will actually help me make my menstrual cup video better because i'll know what your doubts are and i will be able to address that in a better way so i think that's it about these cute little cups for today <laughs> and please leave a comment below with your questions your experiences anything like that i am so excited to finally work on this video for you guys and we'll be back to our regularly scheduled programming tomorrow bye